Okay, Korean men are the only real men in the entire world. You know why? Because they're the only men in the entire world that have shown solidarity with one another, who've called feminism the hate movement that it is, fought against it, and won. Every other country in the world is filled with losers, and that includes my own country. We're a bunch of losers here in Canada. But I'm going to borrow this guy's channel or a video, I should say, Moon Channel. And of course, he's going to try and downplay men's issues, right? That's why he says, gotcha drama. Anyone who uses drama is downplaying the issue. So the, notice this guy's a misandrist, right? Now, we'll get into what happened here. The feminists tried to mobilize, or they did mobilize, and these Korean men fought back. Then it all started with this rumor that two women were spreading a disease because they wanted to go shopping. Let's hear this. Palpable. And the Marist Gallery users were quick to insult these hypothetical super spreaders by calling them kimchi nyo, kimchi women, a derogatory term for undesirable, gold digging slash empty headed Korean women. But now, what, even though it turned out that they were hypothetical, they weren't real, the point is guys were attacking them because this is something that women actually do. They endanger others for their, their own selfish desires. And so it didn't surprise these guys. So that's why they assumed they were real and why they were insulting them. Which is contrasted ironically, perhaps, against sushi nyo, referring to allegedly more desirable and submissive Japanese women. Hey, they're still, the Korean men are the same as the rest of us in the way that they think there's a good group of girls somewhere else. They don't look at their own women and say, they're the template for every other woman. Which just goes to show you that Miyazaki was right and anime was a mistake. That was a joke. By the way, I thought I should make that clear just in case. Please don't drive a protest truck around my office. It was a joke, why'd you make it? Actually, it wasn't funny, dude. So Miyazaki is a woman worshiper. And he was spitting on his own male fans. So screw that old guy. I have no respect for him. And you brought him up because, let's face it, you are misandrist yourself. Where was I? Right. Well, the use of these offensive terms and the proliferation of this apparently fallacious story of two selfish women led to some backlash amongst the female users of DC Inside. Who yeah, like in other words, but these men were calling these women out, right? They might have been wrong that they, these women existed, but the point is they come out and what did the women do? They said, we don't care if these women are causing damage. They're female like us. We're above you. We can do what we want. Came into this mare's gallery and began trolling. But because the Maersk Gallery was relatively small, and there were so many women pouring into this gallery to troll, something rather unusual happened. Women outnumbered men in a gallery on DC Inside and were able to seize control, however briefly, of the narrative. The women's trolling included making degrading statements intended to provoke men. They made bait-and-switch posts in the gallery that appeared at first to be supporting the male position, only for users to click through and discover a chart, for example, showing that 95... Yeah, these women were flooding in. They weren't flood there in the first place. They weren't interested. The only thing that drew them there was that there were men to bash. So that's what's going on here. Four percent of felonies in South Korea are committed by men. The women also reversed common male chauvinist memes in a tongue in They're not chauvinist, dude. They're just men calling out women for their own bad behavior. So I'm calling you out. In cheek way, taking kimchi women, for example, and turning it into kimchi men in order to anger their male counterparts, a technique that would later become known as mirroring. This brief moment of control, of empowerment, if you want to call it that. Had empowerment is women's uh, way of attacking men. It's, it's, it's a disgusting term. When you hear the word empowerment, it means women attacking men, right? And they already had power, dude. This was proof. They weren't kept out of these spaces. They didn't want to be there. And they entered it when they felt like it to bash men. So your bullshit narrative moon channel is being called out. A ripple effect. 
the vastly outnumbered and generally voiceless community of women on the Korean internet. Shut up. They're only outnumbered because they're not interested in being there. If they wanted to be there, they'd show up like they did. And they're not voiceless. You lying jackass. They showed their voices. They simply weren't interested in that space. By the way, this guy's whole video shows pretty uh, anime girls. I'm calling you out on that Toon Moon channel, right? Now had a tool, a successful way to troll and seek catharsis, albeit... Not catharsis. That would suggest that these women had a right to be angry. They don't. Arguably rather toxic manner. And they took what they learned from the Mare's Gallery into the rest of the Korean internet, bringing with... Really? I thought they were voiceless. Right. So this just proves that women don't like men and they're fantastic at working together to bash men. Right. Then their trollish tactics and a decidedly feminist slant. This inform... Thank you for admitting that it's a hate movement. It's a feminist slant. That's right organization of trolling women called themselves the Megalians. A combination of Maersk Gallery and Egalia's Daughters, a book by Norwegian author Gerd Mjørn Brantenberg, where women rule the world. And this, this satire isn't satire. It's gaslighting. Women do rule the world. I mean, come on, dude. We have hashtag me too, destroying men left and right. Men always had to support women. In every culture, everywhere in the world, women are always in charge. I'm, I'm going to educate you, Moon Channel. And men have the more subordinate role. I find this- Men already have a subordinate role. If, since these Korean men have to work and the women can leech off them as housewives, the men are subordinate. To be a rather ironic decision, given that the book asks the reader whether or not the problem is gender in and of itself or whether the problem is power. Is the gender is the problem, and it's the female gender. They've got the power, and they don't like men. Men wouldn't mind women being in charge if men, women liked men and treated us with respect, right? Control. But I digress. We'll get to that topic later in the video. These Megalians, now tentatively organized, trolled DC inside... Not tentatively. They were always organized. Harder than ever. Misogynist terms and memes were turned into misandrist memes. Okay, you're a misandrist because there is no misogynist memes. There are no misogynists. Men worship women. Why do I say that? Because like I said, here you are with a video that's filled with anime girls. You worship women and so do these Korean men. And that's why they fulfilled their standard gender roles. Misogynist galleries were spammed with bait-and-switch posts, and as anger grew over the trolling, the DC Inside mods took action, banning a lot of these- Not mobs, men. The men took action. And again, guys, these Korean men took action in the way that no other group of men anywhere in the world did. Mirrored misandrist memes without similarly banning the original offensive phrases they came from. There you go. They got rid of these- man-hating memes and kept their own in their own space. Do you see that moon channel? That's right. These guys did it right. Galleons themselves started to be banned en masse and so they took to yeah. Facebook and organized there before thereafter starting their own forum website. Yeah, the they, these guys booted these man-haters out. That's how it's done. They booted them out of their space. They said, no, we don't give a shit. That they're women, they're not just going to, we're not going to grovel and just have women show up in our spaces and that being good enough. Megalian.com. Megalia was highly controversial in South Korea. Their mirroring memes disrupted the status quo and pushed back no, against... they didn't. They didn't, you liar. You're either ignorant or you're a liar. The status quo is that women do what they want when they like, and that's exactly what's going on here the strict confines of Korean hierarchy in ways that are considered irredeemable within the context of Korean culture. Bullshit. Bullshit. Since men are working themselves to death and women get the leech off them, that is, that is the actual hierarchy. The women are above men.
On the one hand, Megalia's protests and fundraisers did a... See that South Korean women fight for the rights? They aren't. They already have more rights than the men. The men have to work for a living and the women can leech off the men. Men are the one who get conscripted. This guy will even, this guy, Moon Channel, will even admit it. And the women don't get conscripted. Sorry, conscripted. So the women have more rights than men already. So when women fight for the rights, what they're really doing is fighting to strip men of theirs. Assist in various women's rights causes and gave women in Korea a powerful, influential voice on the internet for arguably the first time in Korean internet history. Lie. Women always had a voice. They always had a voice. Your propaganda is being called out. But on the other hand, Megalia's culture came from DC Inside, which again is like 4chan, and the humor and language of such a culture translates extremely poorly into real life. DC Inside might be trollish and crude, but it isn't the face of the men in this conflict. Korean society as a whole is the face of men, so to speak. The feminists being largely represented by Megalia in the eyes of the public. No, 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 dude. They represent what women are. Was there any group of women fighting against Megillion? No. So Megillion speaks for women. That didn't necessarily go over quite so well. But as is typically the case with anything built out of the anarchic whims of a site like 4chan or D Why do you perpetually show pretty anime girls then bash these men for the fact that they want to watch anime girls as well. Because that's what this is about, right? This is about men enjoying pretty female figures and women not liking it because they don't like men. Right. DC inside. So you're no different from these Korean men other than they have self-respect and fight for them and you are a lay down like the rest of us megalia's worst enemy was itself and infighting in that community tore it apart causing the no, megalia no, no no it wasn't itself it was the men that actually did push back against them the men with self-respect they're their worst enemy a facebook group to go quiet in 2016 and the megalia website itself to close in 2017. Megalia so the boys shut these monsters down good for them look at look at the hey world look at this this is how it's done it may have only existed for two years but the legacy of those two years has been burned into the psyche of the korean internet many of megalia yeah the men they looked at what happened and they learned unlike the rest of us here in the rest of the world these guys learned exactly what women thought of them now we'll get into here we are the gotcha drama and all others. Now, this shows you that this guy is a misandrist because drama, again, is used to downplay men's issues. To, to us guys who have self-respect, these issues are important. They're not drama, right? On or about November 23rd, 2023. Nexon, the developer and publisher of Maple Story, the very same Nexon who fired or otherwise let go of voice. Good. Girls do not need a prince. That's women saying we don't like you, men, and we don't we don't want you. That's that's just shit on men. And this T-shirt, actually, the guys came up and struck this woman down. They use cancel culture on these man haters. World of men. Do you see how it's done? actress Kim Jae-yeon released an animated trailer promoting an important new patch which remastered the game's Angelic Buster class. The trailer is beautifully animated and terribly cute, but it would soon find itself at the very center of a new crisis. The Korean gacha men, still on high alert due to the recency of the Ishmael wetsuit incident, discovered a few frames of animation in which Angelic Buster appeared to be making the pinching symbol of Megalia, the little that may or may not true it doesn't matter i applaud these men yeah they were vigilant they're not like us lay downs in the rest of the world that as soon as the women kind of let up we go oh, oh now here's the olive branch you love us no no these guys they've recognized what these women are about and they kept their eyes on them 
And they knew these feminists never rest. And they're ready to strike back. See, you can see it for one frame in the intro of the animation and once more later as Angelic Buster is spinning. A firestorm erupts and a similar song and dance occurs. This briefly visible pinching- Not, not a song and dance, asshole. These guys, a similar fight back, pushback against man hatred. That's what it is. Your song and dancing, not them. Motion must be the work of a radical feminist, as only a radical feminist would include this dog whistle, this anti-male, hates- I know you're making fun of these guys, but they did the right thing. That's why feminists are actually getting pushed back there and getting defeated, unlike here in the rest of the world. Each slur in an animation. All eyes were on the animation studio that created the trailer, Studio Popuri, also known as Studio Root. And as the chauvinists dug deeper, looking into they're Studio... Chauvinists, jackass. They're men of self-regard, something that you don't know anything about. Popuri's past animations, something became very clear. The hand pinch signs were everywhere. In Korean games ranging from Maple Story to Blue Archive, from Epic 7 to Dungeon Fighter, where Studio Popuri was, there too was the pinch. The first target that the angry mob... I don't, I don't care if they were paranoid, and they're not an angry mob. They're men of self-regard and self-respect. Mob lashed out at was Nade, the vocalist for the song in the animation. She had retweeted old tweets that were in support of Kim Jong-un back in 2016 which was enough to paint her as a misandrist, a man. It didn't paint, it did. She was a misandrist. So not painting her, dude. Your political opinions matter. If you're a part of the KKK, black men will call you out. Jewish men will call you out. This is the gender KKK right here, this feminism. And these Korean men are calling them out. They're doing the right thing. Man hater, but Nare didn't draw anything. She was a vocalist, not an anime. It doesn't matter whether she was a vocalist or draw anything. She's guilty. She told these guys that she hates their guts for being born. That's what a feminist is. Hater. So someone else put the pinch into the animation, right? Well, the next target was a woman named Teso, an animator and team leader at Studio Pupuri. She had an old tweet in which she stated that she would never stop being a feminist. Good, then she just admitted she's a man-hater. So I'm glad these guys went after her, like they should have. Even though she'd had her social media accounts blocked for being offensive towards men. She wow, wow, South Korea. I think I'll move there. <laughs> these are the only guys who have any self-respect. They're evolved men. We're a bunch of throwbacks, the rest of us. These guys are the evolved human beings. They actually fight against misandry. They fight against hate. She stated further that she will always continue to be a feminist, stealthily and subtly. Most damning of all, she also liked a tweet that was critical of Limbus Company's firing of Vel Mori. And Nexon and Studio Popuri were inundated with angry complaints. Okay, so they got some asshole, some feminist asshole fired. She supported her. Okay, she made her stand. She told these guys where she stood. And they, they recognized her for what she was and fought against her. I'm glad. And as was the case with Nexon in 2016 and with Limbus Company, both Nexon and Studio Popuri immediately capitulated. The Angelic Buster trailer was released on November 23rd. By 2 a.m. on November 25th, just two days after the initial trailer was released, Maple Story, Dungeon Fighter, Blue Archive, and other implicated games each offered an apology. Good. See, guys, this is how it's done. You can do it. All you guys who say that, you know, you can't have any kind of pushback to this, it's just in your attitudes. These guys have the right attitudes. They're willing to support each other. They're willing to exercise activism. They get shit done. They get these monsters fired and kicked out of their spaces. Validating the claims being made that they had located inappropriate expressions and that they would take necessary action. Kim Chung-sup, the director of Maple Story at Nexon, 
held a live stream press conference in which he reassured the angry Maple Story players that we will never allow a culture that publicly expresses hatred towards others and those who enjoy such a culture to def. Good. So the men did what the women do all over the rest of the world. They they got together, they worked, they said, we're not putting up with this, and they forced these guys to make an apology. Good. And they're not an angry mob, you asshole. They're men of self-respect. I got to say that over and over again. You might try to paint you know, a false face on this, but I'm calling it for what it is. Fame Maple Story. On November 26th, Studio Pupuri published its own apology, in which it right. appeared to admit fault and offered the angry mob exactly what it wished for. Com the men's rights activists, they're not angry mob. Complete and utter capitulation and validation of their claims of foul play. The Good, because it was. You know, because they, hey, they could have been sneaking them in there. Remember that woman said? Stealthily and slyly. Since men in Korea are putting real pushback, these feminist scumbags, they have to do everything on the sly, unlike the rest of the world where they do their hatred openly. So they probably were right about that, you know, that, that little expression that the anime characters were doing. Target of the mob's anger, Teso, was forbidden from working on further promotional videos. This apology was deemed insufficient, though, as Teso... Yes, yeah, see? They were going to say, oh, we'll keep you hired and give you free money for doing nothing, right? We'll just take you off your name off it so these guys can't come after us. Not good enough for these real men. So was not outright fired. Studio Pupuri was accused of a false placation. An angry mob allegedly went to their offices taking pictures and spying on their employees. The situation was getting dangerous. And These men fought like female feminists. And it works. Studio Pupuri could do no more without risking their safety. On November 27th, Studio Pupuri issued a second apology and stated that the animator in question, Keiso, would not be fired but would instead resign. He was fired, right? But these cowards, these woman worshippers, they couldn't just say we fired her, right? But no. These monsters, the real ones, got canceled for a change, unlike all the innocent men that get canceled over here. And when I say over here, I mean everywhere other than Korea. This apology and the firing was quickly retracted, but it was too late. The damage was done. You can imagine what happened next. No, I can't imagine what happened next. I don't speak Korean, so there's no point in going there. Here. Drawn by a man as a result of coverage by the Kyunghang Shin Moon on the 30th. It was confirmed that the original storyboard for the video in question was handled by Mr. A, a male animator in his 40s from a company other than Studio Pupuri. Mr. Why, do, why would I care, dude? Because you're proof positive that men are just as misandric as women are. A was an additional manpower sought due to the urgent deadline presented by Nexon. Basically, everyone involved in this animation, it turns out, was male. And industry officials found that it was impossible for a malicious edit to have occurred. At well, you're full of shit, dude. Because male or, men are some of the biggest messengers to rap. So it's not impossible. Right? It happens all the time. There, there are male feminist moon channel. And they're not few. There's an army of these guys. Hey, you're proof positive. So we'll get past all his bullshit. The suffering of Korean men. Now he's going to show this and it's going to prove that men are suffering in Korea. And then he's going to do the sorrow of Korean women. He's going to try and do the false equivalency for shit. So, okay. It's hard to be a man in Korea, but doubly... It's hard to be a man anywhere so to be a young man society places enormous expectations upon you and if you fail to live up to them you are treated not as a human being with dreams and aspirations and hopes but as a disgrace that's right and society is made up of 50 percent of women so women are all for these gender roles for men a black sheep a monster 
the generations immediately before you managed to live up to expectations because expectations were both much lower then, and many of them experienced... Actually, that's a lie. The expectations were the same, right? It's just that modern, the modern generation, they don't... They, they don't need men, so they can take the mask off and say they hate men. But they, so they always felt the same way, Moon Channel. Always. Korea's economic miracle. They experienced unparalleled growth, and so their expectations are both higher, and they were able themselves to carry the expectations of Korea's ultra-Confucianist demands upon their backs. But you, you are stuck in an era of stagnation. You are one cog in an enormous machine competing against countless other cogs for a pittance of coin. And yeah, the men are the cogs, not the women. Ambitiously, a shred of respect, of self-worth, of belonging. But This is all true, but notice the, his tone suggests that he thinks this narrative is possibly false, which it isn't, Moon Channel. Because they're... What they're talking about is happening all over the world. But instead of respect, you are awarded with disrespect for your efforts, disrespect from your elders, disrespect from your peers, disrespect even from your subordinates. Every year, hundreds of thousands of Korean young men like yourself are conscripted against their will into the military. That's true. And the women aren't. If you choose not to serve, you might face jail time. Future employers might refuse to hire you if they see you didn't do your time in the military. These two years are treated less like actual time in the military and more like a hazing ritual. Yeah, exactly. You know what? These The current war that's going on in the world today, the ones where they're actually fighting war, do you think they're hazing their guys? No, they're teaching them how to do their craft. They're teaching them how to war. They're teaching them how to shoot right? Kill the enemy. But during times of peace, all it is is one long hazing because it's male abuse. That's all it is. And these Korean men are recognizing it. All it does is take men away, haze them and spit on them, and then ship them off and take away two years of their life. That's all it does. Cruel and grueling for absolutely no good reason. Exactly. They called it out. Once you get out of the military, you then have to return to civilian life and find jobs that can support a whole family on your own. You Why support a whole family? I thought women were equal to men and they, they could, you know, be 50-50. Right. So I hope you realize how embarrassing it's going to be for you when you try and paint women as, as also having troubles. You have to run the gauntlet and wear the suits and suffer the indignity of slave-like labor. And that's the best case scenario for you if you aren't born into a position of privilege. If you aren't born into such a position of privilege where you can't leverage your family's resources or prestige or network, then you must carry all of these expectations as well as a 10-ton weight of societal shame at having not been able to succeed. All of these expectations... Yeah, this is only for men. He's going to admit it. ...expectations are levied on men and none are levied on women. Women's that's, that's right, that's true. Are you going to provide any proof of the opposite? They seem to have it so easy. They just have to look good and stay quiet and cool. They don't seem to have it easy. They do have it easy. The meals, that's all that society expects of them. And they can't even do just that. While we men... Yeah, exactly. Do you admit it? Are they forced into conscription? No. Are they expected to be the breadwinner for the entire family? No. Then what the guys are claiming is obviously true. Men are expected to do everything else. To provide for the family, to build a generational wealth, to pay for the dates, to pay for the places the women live and the clothes they wear and the yeah. food they eat, to serve in the military against our will, all while being disrespected yeah. by everyone around us, by the elderly. All that is true. Are you going to try and say it's not? Who don't understand why we aren't doing as well as they did. By foreigners who don't understand the expectations our society places on us. And by our own women who seem to expect more from us than what we can provide. And it... They don't seem to. These women are just like every other woman in the world. They're not interested with being with men. Men have to bribe them. Hey, moon channel.
men have to bribe women, right? And the bribe is through the roof because women aren't interested in being with men. They only accept the bribe if they actually feel like they can't go it alone. They can go it alone now. That's why. Accuse us of crimes that we aren't committing. So They're right about that too. The false allegations are standard. They're not just happen often. They're standard. Women do not like men and demonize them all the time. Something must be wrong. The system is failing us because the pieces aren't in the right place. No, no, the system isn't failing. The system is built purposely to attack men. Grabbing young men off the street, forcing them into the draft, and hazing them for several years straight, that is done on purpose. That's not a failure. What could it be? The people are subordinate to the government. The sons are subordinate to their fathers. The younger are subordinate to their elders. Yeah, that you don't say that the women are subordinate to anybody, do you? But the women, they want more, they expect more, and they offer disrespect instead of appreciation for the suffering we must endure on their- Well, that's, that's true. They don't respect men, that's true. That's been proven all over the world for countless generations now. Behalf. Why do the women insist on piling more onto us? Because the women don't like men, that's it, right? Now, We'll get into where he tries to bullshit to say that women somehow are equal to men in the suffering. When we go after an artist on Twitter, we judge ourselves by our intentions. Sure, the artist is the wrong artist, but she's still a feminist, and our intentions matter, not our actions. Well, their intentions do matter. If someone tells you that they hate your guts, if someone admits they're from the KKK, they may not be guilty of any particular crime, but people immediately distance themselves from them. You, it's the same thing here with the feminist. I want you just for a moment to join me and look at the intentions of the young women in your society. Because just as Korean society places an enormous burden of expectations upon you, the men, your women also suffer from expectations. Lie, lie. All she's talking about is marriage, right? Word. The man works and she doesn't have to. And these women still get married, not because they're pressured. It's because in the end, they don't want to work a grueling job. These women talking, look how they're dressed. Are they like working in the mines or in the oil rigs or anything hard? Are they they're working in the sewers? No. Are they mail carriers or anything like that? No, they're, they're just showing high status women. Women in high status positions, they don't want to get married because they don't need the men, don't want a man. Right. Other than marriage, there's zero expectations. And even then, they can still ditch those expectations. It doesn't matter. Ones that you might not even be aware of. You say Korean girls have it easy because they don't have to make money, as that's the man's job. That's absolutely true. That's a fact. Well, they'd like to. but that No, it's... no they don't. No, they don't, do, dude. These women still get married and leech off men. So you're, you're wrong itself is also a societal expectation that many of these women are trying to break free of. No, no, no. They're, they're not break, trying to break free of that. Marriage has not died anywhere in the world. Because marriage where the woman leeches off the man. So you're just wrong, if not outright lying. In South Korea, labor force participation by women is nearly the lowest among OECD countries. That's right. And it's the highest among men. So the women enforce these gender roles. They say, I want a man to serve me and I don't have to work for a living. That's why it is the way it is. But the gender pay gap in South Korea is not amongst the worst. It is the actual worst amongst all OECD countries. Good. So you're admitting that these women are the worst. The men work themselves to death and the women leech off them. The, the pay gap is an earnings gap. The men have to do the labor and the women don't have to work. That's where it comes from. That's as far as I'm going to do with this garbage video that I'm responding to. Now, I'm going to end off saying what I said at the first. These Korean men are the only real men in the entire world. They're the only men who are vigilant. They're showing uh, solidarity with one another. They're pushing against hate. They're admitting that the women hate them. 
and they're doing something about it and they're succeeding. You don't see that anywhere else in the world, anywhere else. They're the evolved man. The rest of us are a bunch of Neanderthals. That's all I got to say about this. Thank you, everyone.